All right guys, today we're gonna to talk about something that is hitting pretty close to home right now because it is post frontal conditions. We're gonna talk about how weather actually affects fish. And the thing about bass fishing is, everybody says you cannot beat time on the water, you can't beat experience, and that's kind of true in bass fishing because it's not like a math-based deal. It's not something where you can really check up on it and see a lot of scientific proof behind it. All it is is kind of what you've seen happen over the years and kind of what you have, have noticed that the fish kind of change based on weather and stuff like that and whenever you can spend a lot of time on the water like consecutive days five or six days in a row three or four days in a row and see how the weather changes day to day and see how the fish kind of relocate during that week when you're spending all that time on the water that's a really big key for kind of getting a feel for how these fish relocate but we're going to kind of key in on number one where i think the fish move to when we have post frontal conditions like this and also what kind of baits that i want to try to use to present my you know my bait to the fish in the best kind of scenario that I can for where I feel like they've moved to. So number one, when you have post frontal conditions, a lot of times we, we have no clouds in the sky, the fish are going to have to get behind something. And that's, that's a really, really big key is they always are going to seem to want to go to cover, whether it be grass, you know, super thick matted vegetation, or just any kind of stringy light grass, wherever they have, they're going to get on whatever they can. They're going to really pull up under docks. They're going to pull up under wood cover. They're going to get on the bigger chunk rock this time of year. Seems to me that whenever we have post frontal conditions, they don't seem to get on the gravelly type stuff quite as good. They're going to want to be on those big bluffer type rocks because there's no clouds in the sky. They have to get behind something and gravel rocks that are just spread on the bottom don't provide a ton of cover they provide a really good opportunity whenever they're feeding so like whenever we have cloudy conditions and the fish are really roaming they want to be on that gravelly type stuff because they can roam around they can see every bait and the bait can't really you know have anywhere to hide from them but whenever the bass themselves are trying to get in cover they want the bigger kind of bulkier rocks they can actually get under so that's kind of the all the places that I'm going to look. I'm always going to look around some type of a cover. And just being me from the south, I'm from Alabama, I love fishing cover no matter what it is. I like seeing what I'm throwing to. I like getting the visual feedback and, you know, it makes it a lot more fun for me to fish. So now we're going to kind of jump into the actual kind of baits that I'm going to, you know, try to use to present my to present to the fish whenever they are in those situations. So number one, I feel like whenever we have post frontal conditions, the sun is just a little less bright. I know in the, in the winter time, the sun is less bright than in the summer because the way that the earth is kind of angled in the winter time. And it seems like after a post front or after a front, whenever we are post frontal, it seems to be kind of the same. The sun seems to be a little bit more dim. So I'm going to always pick up a bait that I feel like the fish can see from a little bit further away. This is whenever I'm going to pick up, even in clear conditions, I'm going to pick up more of brighter colors or darker colors or something like that. And I'm going to kind of stick to a lot of my confidence baits. I'm going to really try to cover a lot of water and, you know, try to make sure that I'm fishing where I think the fish are going to go. So number one, I'm going to start off with a bait that I probably throw the least in the area where I am, but it's a really, really good bait if you're fishing more highland reservoirs, lakes with a lot of rock, that big chunk rock stuff that those spotted bass get on, or even the largemouth get on. This is a really good way to cover water on those kind of long sloping points, which is a place they go post frontal, especially on highland reservoirs. This is a bait that I'm going to throw a bright color because I want, I want them to be able to see it from a long way away, especially if they're tucked behind the rocks and this comes over the top of them. I want them to be able to key on it. This is just a bright colored rock crawler. If I feel like I'm fishing a lake with a lot of visibility where the fish are going to be in that 10, 12, 14, even 8 foot range, this is going to be a bait that I'm going to throw over that trunk rock and stuff like that. So it's kind of the same bait that I'll throw whenever they're feeding on the gravel, but this time of year, like I said, whenever it's post front, they're going to be hiding behind those big rocks. That's a really good bait to kind of grind over the top of them. Now, one that if we have a lot more stain conditions or if I'm fishing the Chattahoochee River, which I fish a lot, the fish just seem to live a little bit shallower on a lot more wood cover and stuff like that, I'm going to go to a spinner bait, and that's going to be kind of one of the baits where I feel like I can get some of the biggest bites I can this time of year. And I'll oftentimes upsize to a single Colorado blade. This is just an example spinner bait. I have caught some on this, but this is just a single Colorado. What that's going to do is help me slow it down. If those fish are around, you know, the post of docks, they're around lay down trees, any kind of stumps, timber, anything like that. I want a bigger blade to kind of slow that bait down. I want this thing, I want them to be able to see it from as far as possible and I want it to stay in the strike zone for as long as possible so those fish have as much time to eat it as they possibly can because they're not in a huge feed mood post frontal so this is going to be a bait that i'm going to throw around any kind of wood that's more vertical and i'm going to want it to kind of hang there for a long time so upsize the blade chartreuse and white is a really good color just so they can see it from a little bit further with that less light penetration so it's just another really good covering water bait whenever you're a little bit shallower this is also Whenever it's early in the year, like it is right now, where we're in mid-October and the, the water temp is not super cool yet, this is going to be a time 
of the year where whenever that post front comes through or that front comes through, I feel like a buzz bait can catch a really big fish this time of year. It's gonna be kind of the same thing. I'm gonna grind it around, you know, any kind of wood, any kind of rock, stuff like that. This is not a bait I throw whenever the water temp's like 50 and we have a, and we have a cold front or even when the water temps like 55 and we have a cold front This is not going to be a bait that I throw but the first cold front of the year This is going to be a bait that I almost always throw I'm gonna keep it on the front deck I get a lot of really big bites like this even whenever we have no clouds in the sky I'll throw it all day. We also this time of year whenever we have all the, these fronts we have really pronounced shade lines and what that does is it gives those fish kind of a place to kind of pull up get out of the Sun and kind of roam around and still have a little bit of a feeding window so I'll throw this over sea walls with a shade line any kind of stumps or anything like that it's kind of going to be the same kind of a you know presentation as the spinner bait it's just a little bit different bait that I'm going to throw and I feel like I can get a little bit bigger bites on now y'all seen me all summer long that's typically whenever you have clear water in the summer, whenever it's a lot warmer, I'm gonna throw that kind of a creature bait style. Y'all see me flipping a D-bomb a ton. You know, this year on the Elites, just fishing around, around home, all that type of stuff, I flip a D-bomb a ton. This time of year, whenever it gets a little bit cooler, I'm almost always gonna switch back to the jig and I'll kind of leave the jig laid on the front deck until, you know, post-spawn next year. So that's kind of, this is just kind of one of the baits that I switch back to. I feel like I can get big bites on it. It does draw fish because it has a bigger profile. It's going to make those fish that are a little bit more lethargic, a little bit less action, a little bit less aggressive. It's going to make them kind of want to come and commit to this bait because it's a bigger profile. They are not know they're going to have to exert a little bit of energy, get a big profile, and they're going to be sustained for a long period of time. So this is whenever I switch back to the jig and I start flipping that again. So also another thing that I do is whenever I'm covering water shallow, if I feel like that spinner bait is just not getting quite deep enough, I'll pick up a Spro Little John. I'm going to stay with the bright colors like this right here. I think it's called Sunny Brim. It's a really natural colored chartreuse, uh, regular Spro Little John. This one that I'm going to throw around stumps, the big bluff rock, anything that's in that depth range at six foot or shallower. I'll even throw this thing up around dock posts and stuff like that in two feet, anything like that. That's going to be kind of where I'm targeting those fish. They're just a little bit shallower than I do those kind of the same fish that eat that rock crawler. Now, another thing, whenever you get a little bit later into the year, this is primarily on more clear water, and whenever you have colder water, I'll kind of switch this out with that buzz bait. This is a Spro Mix Stick. Whenever we have a cold front a little bit later in the year, I feel like those fish will kind of get in those holes and they'll suspend under the deeper docks and stuff like that. And this is when I'm going to throw a jerk bait in the same areas. I'm just going to kind of get Instead of fishing on the shallower stuff where it's four to six foot, I'm gonna fish a little bit off the drop and I'm gonna throw this jerk bait and kind of let it linger in front of their face for a little bit longer. And this is whenever I feel like the fish are really schooled up in holes and stuff like that and the shatter in there with them. This is a really good application for catching those fish like that a little bit later in the year whenever we have a cold front. So that's kind of how I think fish position and that's kind of the baits that I'm gonna use to target these post spawn fish. So I hope y'all enjoyed that video. Leave a like, leave a comment, hit that subscribe button. Every time we have a major transitional period coming up i'll make another video like this hope y'all enjoyed that we're about to go put some of these baits to the test we'll see y'all in the next one